Have you ever wondered why two separate species cannot mate and produce offspring? There is a comprehensive mechanism that operates behind the scene to keep species intact. That phenomenon is called reproductive isolation mechanism. This is Dr. Muzaffar Sansarohi and today we shall discuss various forms of isolation mechanisms that operate in plants. So basically, reproductive isolation is a collection of mechanisms, behaviors and physiological processes that prevent the members of two different species that cross or mate from producing offspring or which ensure that any offspring that may be produced is not fertile. Isolation mechanisms are particularly important in the biological species concept in which species of sexual organisms are defined by reproductive isolation. A species is defined as a group of individuals that in nature are able to mate and produce viable fertile offspring. The term of isolating mechanisms and this complete phenomenon was first explained by a Russian-born American biologist Theodosius Dobzhansky in 1930s. He was quite famous for his work in evolution and genetic variation. So these isolating mechanisms can be categorized into two groups prezygotic mechanisms and post zygotic mechanisms based on whether isolating mechanisms operate before or after the formation of zygote again in prezygotic mechanisms the isolating barriers may operate before or after pollination the barriers that operate before pollination include geographic ecological seasonal temporal and mechanical Whereas in after pollination, it may be gametophytic or gametic isolation. If pollination occurs successfully and zygote is formed, the post pollination isolation mechanism becomes functional. It includes seed incapability and hybrid inviability. First, we shall look into the prezygotic mechanisms of reproductive isolation. The first barrier that operates before pollination is geographical isolation. Geographical isolation refers to the physical barriers that keep two species apart. Under this mechanism, two species inhabit two different geographical regions. The distance between two species is bigger than their pollen and seed dispersion. Therefore, it is impossible for them to pollinate each other. A good example of this mechanism is two species of sycamore trees growing in two different regions. Platinus orientalis, the world, old world psychovore, is well established in Mediterranean region. On the other hand, a very similar species, Platinus occidentalis, which is commonly called American psychovore, is distributed across North America. A geographical barrier keeps these species intact, but they can interbreed when brought together. If the species are established in same geographic region, they may be isolated by ecological mechanism. In this mechanism, species occupy different ecological habitats. Therefore, it becomes difficult for them to interbreed. Different plant species may occur on different soils, on different drainage profiles, on exposures, or at different altitudes. This type of isolation, although frequent and widespread, is often incomplete as the different forms may come together in transition transitional habitats silene species are a good example of such isolation mechanism silene alba grows on light soils in open places whereas silene diosia on heavy soils in shade the species are capable for breeding and produce hybrid if their habitats overlap in temporal isolation Species may reproduce at different times of the year, season, or flower at different times of the day. A good example is the western pine. One type of western pine normally shed its pollen in February, 
while another does not shed its pollen until April. Agrostis species is a good example when, where few species flower in the morning while others flower in the afternoon. Temporal just means time, so it is a barrier that exists because of timing of reproduction in flowers. For example, flowers grow in the same area, but one blooms and releases pollen in May, while other does not. The second flower might bloom a bit later in state. Since the flowers do not reproduce at the same time, they cannot cross pollinate. Over time, the two groups can split off into two new species which can no longer interbreed. Another example of seasonal isolation exists in two elderberry species, Sambacus racimos and Sambacus nigra. These species are capable of interbreeding, however, they flower nearly seven weeks apart. Dendrobium species of tropical orchids flower for one day. The flowers open at dawn and wither by nightfall. Flowering occurs to certain stimuli which acts on all species together. But the lapse between the stimulus and flowering is 8 days in one species, 9 in another species and 10 or 11 in the third species. Intraspecific fertilization is impossible because at the time the flower of one species open, those of the other species have already withered or have not yet matured. Copulation is often impossible between different animal species because of the incompatible shape, of, shape and size of genitalia. In plants, variations in flower structure may impede pollination. Mechanical isolation is caused by floral structures that keep species isolated from one another. For example, in flowering plants, the shape of flower will tend to match up with a natural pollinator. Complex floral structures in certain plants such as orchards may favor one species of animals, pollinator or others. Two species of sage uh, from California provide an example. The two-lipped flower of Salvia mellifera have stamens and styles in the upper lip, whereas Salvia apia has long stamens and style and specialized floral configuration. Salvia mellifera is pollinated by small or medium sized bees that carry pollens on their back from flower to flower. Salvia apia, however, is pollinated by large carpenter bees and bumblebees that carry the pollen on other body parts. Even if the pollinators of one species visit the flowers of the other, the pollination cannot occur because the pollen does not come into contact with the style of the alternative species. If pre-pollination mechanisms fail to operate, post-pollination mechanisms play their part. The first step is gametophytic isolation and gametic isolation. It refers to the physical or chemical incompatibility of gametes of two different species. If the gametes lack receptors to facilitate fusion, they cannot form a zygote. An egg may have receptors only for the sperm of its own species. The first step is gametophytic isolation in which pollen tube fails to germinate. It cannot reach and penetrate the embryo sac. But in second step, if pollen tube germinate and they transfer release the male gametes into the embryo sac, the endospermic fusion does not occur. Occasionally, prezygotic mechanisms are absent or break down, so the interspecific zygote, even immature embryos, are formed but fail to develop. The seed is not produced. The phenomenon is commonly observed in a species of Primula genus. Hybrid inviability is common in plants whose hybrid seeds often fail to germinate or die shortly after ger germination. Even if hybrids are produced, they may be partially or totally sterile. Hybrids between closely related forms are more likely to be fertile than those between more distantly related species, but the correlation is an inexact one. The causes of hybrid sterility are complex and can involve genetic factors, differences in gene arrangements on chromosomes that disrupt normal chromosomal pairing and segregation at meiosis, and incompatibilities 
between cytoplasmic factors and the chromosomes. Thank you for watching. For further reading, please refer to Essentials of Biology 5th edition. Thank you.